everybody. Keith Jones behind the binoculars here at Parks for Sunday, October 14th. We have a partly sunny sky with a fast racetrack. We'll take a look at races 7 and 9 today. Seventh race, a very interesting first level allowance for fillies and mares going six furlongs. And the program choice number two, Little Dipper, opens, opens up at two to one for trainer Kelly Breen. And I think this horse has a chance to get over bet here today. Now she will be opening her three-year-old season after a solid two-year-old season last year. She came out of the box at Monmouth Park to win a special weight convincingly and then jumped right from that special weight into the Colleen Stakes where she was one to two and then ended up finishing third and came back with another solid performance in the sorority stakes at her next start and finished second that day. And to get off of that stakes form, I think she has a chance to get over bet here. Now, trader Kelly Breen does not have a particularly good record with winning off of layoffs. So again, with what could be a short price and some of the question marks around Little Dipper, let's go elsewhere and try number eight, Joyce's Spirit, who also has been off for some time and has moved into the barn of John's service. Now, John has an excellent record with bringing horses off a layoff. Now, this horse, Joyce's Spirit, had been in the Butch Reed barn. He's obviously one of our top trainers as well, but John also has a very good record with uh, sending out horses for the first time in his barn. Joyce's Spirit has shown some ability in the past, and again, she is a three-year-old, and off of the uh, time off that she had, of course, we know that the three-year-olds have the uh, chance to mature and grow and get better as the season goes on, and that may, will, may well be the case with Joyce's Spirit. She does have some decent lines in the past, so with that being said, six to one, the morning line price. Let's try Joyce's Spirit, the eight horse, in race number seven. There's also an interesting long shot to take a look at in this race. That's number six, Norma's Charm, who opens up at 20 to one for trainer Uriah St. Louis. She has been brutally overmatched in a number of her recent starts. Trainer Uriah St. Louis does have a tendency to put his horses in places where they uh, uh, are definitely going to be long shots, but if you look back at some of her races, she has put up some pretty big numbers in a couple of those starts, and if she's able to run back to some of those races from the past, and again, this is a spot that should be more competitive for her, she might be able to do something at a big price, so keep an eye on her, number six, Norma's Charm, 20 to 1, maybe a live long shot in race number seven. Let's go back to the ninth race now. It's a claiming race at six furlongs, 7,500 not winners at three. I like the outside horse, number 11, Strong Breeze. Now coming off a victory at 7,500 not winners at two last time out. Had been in 25,000, and then trainer Silvio Martin dropped the horse significantly to 7,500, and Strong Breeze responded with an excellent effort coming from just off the pace to beat a convincing favorite by daylight that day. Not much up in class today from the 75 non winners at two to non winners at three today, and has a chance to get a very similar trip from that outside gate, number 11, uh, again on the extreme outside, 5 to 1 is the morning line price, not a whole lot of other early speed in the race, so I think Strong Breeze has a chance to uh, get up into the early part of the race, and again to get that stalking trip on the outside, and at 5 to 1 morning line price, let's try the 11 Strong Breeze in the ninth race today.